Hi guys, good morning. Francis here again. Uh, today is uh, January 11, and I'm officially done with my isolation, uh, having been struck with COVID again. And I guess today is the start of uh, going back to work. So uh, later on, I'll share a few minutes uh, that hopefully will help people who are currently going through uh, the current surge of COVID here in the Philippines, uh, majority of which pretty sure is based or because of uh, Omicron. And yeah, and just being prepared and how to go through this ordeal. Um, fortunately for most of us who are vaccinated, because we are vaccinated, the impact of uh, the virus on us is not as bad as how it used to be, say, back uh, five months ago uh, during the second wave in August and September of 2021. And it's helping our healthcare system to cope with the massive numbers. And if I'm not mistaken, I think yesterday, Monday night or Monday afternoon, the number of people who are experiencing mild or symptom or who are asymptomatic are in the 97% uh, yeah. out of 150,000 uh, confirmed or official confirmed, officially confirmed cases of COVID in the Philippines. So that's a good thing. Um, while it's still bad that there's you know a high number, let's you know count our blessings that uh, at the bare minimum, majority of the people who have this current uh, situation are you know staying at home, um, getting well, and they're not clogging uh, our healthcare system. Just want to share this uh, quick information for those of you who do have symptoms and those of you who are currently or either on quarantine or isolation. I am hoping and praying that you all recover very soon. And know that if you have any questions, feel free to post any comments um, on this particular video or in the previous videos when I said that I was COVID positive. Um, I think having gone through it at least twice, uh, I can share my own experience with how I've gone through it. Um, and fortunately, majority of the people who are currently going through this uh, condition right now are only experiencing mild symptoms. But for some of you, who are quite uh, scared or stressed out or maybe even unsure of how to deal with it uh, yeah I'd be more than happy to give my own uh, thoughts on how to maybe help out and hopefully that gives you some amount of comfort anyway uh, I know things are not very good uh, all over the country and all over the world I know that most of our own friends and our own family and maybe even ourselves are going through this condition. Uh, know that our uh, healthcare system is doing everything it could to provide the right level of service and the right level of uh, connectivity and uh, help that all of us need. Um, if you don't get it ASAP, uh, please also acknowledge that um, the system is also made up of people and these people could also be the ones experiencing the same conditions all of us are going through or have gone through. So patience and understanding is very, very important. Uh, let's continue to be uh, empathic towards our own healthcare workers, our own frontliners. Um, I know for, for one that um, family members or household members who have gone through PCR testing, for example, it took them around at least two to three days to get their PCR test results back. And fortunately, we were given information uh, by not just the Department of Health, but also our um, hospitals and, and so on, that you know, if you do have any symptoms, just make sure that you isolate immediately. Just isolate for 10 days. If you have the ability to take a PCR, then take it, but if not, um, just isolate and that 10 day period is a guarantee that should you have caught uh, COVID that within that 10 days you'll be able to get better 
um, and by the 10th day, if you're still experiencing symptoms, you know, max it out to the 14 days. Um, for me, uh, fortunately, one of the things I've learned in the previous experience I've had was to be prepared. Uh, be prepared by making sure you have all the things that you need at home, all the medicines, um, appropriated or allocated for each individual in the household. So if you're four people, for example, make sure you have a kit for all four people. Um, also, uh, have uh, an escape plan should you need one or like a continuity plan because that will help you trigger it uh, when things happen and you won't have to second guess yourself. At least you're prepared, your family's prepared, you know how to go about uh, your daily routine, give it that maybe one or more than one member of the family. Um, has COVID or has uh, been experiencing symptoms. I think preparedness is key. Right now, uh, what I've been sharing with other people, I know prevention would be great, but more than prevention, uh, preparedness is even better. And it's like us being prepared for you know, if we have a storm or a typhoon or an earthquake. This is, I guess, a health earthquake or a health storm or a health typhoon. So we treat it the same way. We make sure that we are prepared, we are resilient, and we have the ability to uh, go through it the best way possible. One of the tips that I'd share, aside from the medicines, uh, well, it's hard for the medicines. With medicines, make sure you have everything and anything that would address the classic symptoms of uh, COVID or even flu. Normally, it's headache or fever. Uh, so headache and fever, typically that's paracetamol, uh, nasal congestion. Uh, any, any medicine that would deal with that, you have your classic over-the-counter medicines like you have the Ecogen. I personally use uh, Dynatucin uh, for my own nasal congestion. And then if you have a nasal spray to help with like uh, allergic rhinitis symptoms, that would also help. Um, there are several options for that. I personally use Avamis, and that's been very helpful for me. I find it um, not too strong, which is the right amount of uh, uh, solution to help me with you know, breathing properly. Um, what else? I say, ah, sore throat. So sore, for, for people who have like swollen throats or uh, sore throat, uh, definitely make sure you have um, either betadine gargle, that's always good. Um, also, uh, deflam um, spray and or lozenges, that would also help. At least soothe the real throat. Uh, for those who prefer a little bit more minty, less medicine-y, uh, or hex is another good option for you. But if you don't have, uh, uh, what's this, uh, or hex or betadine, back to doll is not so bad. Uh, and you even have home remedies uh, using maybe lukewarm water with uh, salt um, is, is a good um, uh, is, uh, uh, solution to use to gargle. Make sure that you gargle at least 20 seconds. So what I do is I just count 20 uh, while gargling. So there. And the other stuff are really there or you know just get supplies for for what you will need to make your 10 days tolerable if uh, you know you want to have some snacks make sure you have snacks uh, to last you the 10 days if you need to uh, watch Netflix or whatever make sure your subscription is active and then there's always YouTube <clears throat> um, and of course another important thing that I would probably share is Make sure you have um, contact information of uh, any medical professional, like a doctor or uh, someone who you trust, who has a medical background, preferably a doctor, to you know keep uh, providing updates with. Um, I'm fortunate enough to uh, have a few uh, doctors in my life whom I trust uh, to consult with to get uh, advice on uh, regarding my 
symptoms or whatever I am experiencing. So, yeah, I think that uh, that's definitely, definitely important. And if you don't have a personal friend or a personal acquaintance who's a doctor, the teleconsult of your uh, LGU is definitely available to, to, to you. And there are also some hospitals who provide teleconsultation services for a very, very minimal fee. I think uh, this day and age, teleconsultation is very, very safe because it uh, gives you that level of engagement with a medical professional the right way and they'll be able to identify how to do it. So, well, for now, just to share, um, I actually am, in a way, celebrating this uh, renewed freedom by actually getting a McDonald's. I got the uh, McDonald's coffee, and uh, they say it's their Americano, so I'll, ch we'll try, I'll try it out. It's a little hot. Mm. It's okay. That's all I'm gonna say. But what I was super excited with was I saw that they have um, uh, croissants now. Maybe they've already had it for a while. I've never tried it. But what I'm having today is their sausage croissant. Obviously, I've already taken a bite out of it. It's actually pretty damn good. Um, the, the croissant itself is uh, flaky uh, with a slight um, crisp to it. And then later I'm gonna try the other one, the bacon. And yeah, so I'll get to working um, again. Not saying that I'm super, super excited, but definitely I know that I need to start working because uh, there are so many things that need to get finished um, for uh, the organization that I work for. Outside of that, I also need to check in with my parents, uh, hoping that uh, they have all the supplies that they need while I was able to provide them some, even while I was uh, in isolation, uh, I want to make sure that they, you know, have a have their fridge stocked properly. All their necessities are taken care of. Uh, so maybe I'll I don't know do a grocery run uh, after office hours. I'll see if that's possible. If not, then definitely scheduling something for Saturday. Uh, for the meantime, I hope everybody's okay, and I'll check in with you a little bit later. Uh, in a day. Okay. Hi guys, I am currently heading out uh, to our main area here at home, uh, taking a quick rest from work. Uh, maybe a few few minutes uh, rest from work. I wanted to introduce you to um, our babies. So, just to show you, this is Rafi. Hey Rafi. Say hi to the camera. Hi Rafi. And then you have these two cuties. My twins. Caleb. And Tori. Hi Tori. These are our babies. The fourth one, or the youngest, who has a birthday today, then is actually in the utility room. And Normally during this time of the day, it's actually a great, uh, it's a great time. Only because we normally check out a nice view of the village, and as you can see, the park there. Hmm, not too many people. Good. Uh, it's always nice to walk around and see how things are happening. And you know, checking out people. So there, uh, this is where we live. I'll probably give a better tour of the house one of these days. But for the meantime, just wanted to check in with you. And like I said, today is freedom day, so to speak. But uh, we'll figure out how to celebrate. And I'm happy that uh, one of the folks at home is also negative and um, yeah, very very soon things will be back to some kind of normal and uh, we'll be able to enjoy mask-free living inside this house. But for the meantime, I think, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick uh, sit down and maybe have some playtime with 
these three babies. I'll check in with you again later. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down and check out. See, get my mail. It's been such a long, long day. Hope everybody's doing fine and everybody's keeping safe. I'm just gonna go down and check out uh, some mail to make sure that I get the stuff that I'm supposed to be getting. Anyway, uh, yeah. So happy with where we're living right now. It's, it's super, super convenient. And the guys here are really nice. Hi boss, me letter down for me. Ay yung envelope. Thank you, thank you. Hello. I'll go back up. See the security here in this condo is quite uh, strict, and I like the fact that in the elevator you get to access only your unit um, there are only two units per floor so the level of um, privacy and security is quite high and you can call it like some kind of exclusivity so Hey guys, it's uh, December 12th. I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. I uh, just really wanted to um, give you all a uh, well, well wishes of hope everybody's safe, hope everybody is healthy, and if you are sick or if you are ill at the moment, I pray for you. Uh, for the meantime, uh, please. Uh, you know, make sure that you take care of yourselves, your family, your loved ones. And I know things will get better very soon. We just need to get through this hump. Um, and interestingly enough, today is also hump day. For now, uh, I bid you all uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Truman, and I'll see you guys soon.